Well, this Michael Langenstein's Weiss, is retired. the oldest independent grocery store in New Orleans. It's been around for a hundred years now. It opened its doors uptown back in 1922. And the store is celebrating uh, with a big party this week. Ellis Lano, Langen Langenstein's president and CEO, is joining us with details on the centennial year of celebrations. And Langenstein's, is, uh, especially for uptown, has been a fixture there for years. Yeah, well, you know, we opened in the um what is now the Britannia Liquor Store location in 1922. And now you guys still own the Britannia Liquor Store. We do still own the Britannia Liquor Store, still a functioning business there. Um, moved down to what is now the, the Uptown location in the 50s. Yeah. Um, that was an old automobile dealership. Um, and then the warehouse across the street was actually the old mule barn. Oh, from really? when the streetcars were pulled by, uh, pulled by mules before it was electrified. And, and there is so much history behind your store and it is, it is hard for a small store, because it's like a little neighborhood store, mm -hmm. um, you know, to survive that long. Yeah, I mean, it's very much a throwback, but I think, you know, the same principles that we were founded on, excellent customer service, you know, the highest quality products, meat, seafood, prepared foods, um, are still the things that, that keep us going today. And I, I remember, because uh, you guys have two other stores. You have one in Metairie, mm -hmm. which opened in the 90s, and then in the 2000s, 20, was it 2015? 2015 in River Ridge. So, so you're like a chain now. Yeah. Well, not really. Not full. We, we still think of ourselves as a you know local independent grocer, um, still a family-owned business after all these years. So, you know, even with our expansion, just really trying to stay kind of true to our roots. And now, tell us the story of, of when your great great grandfather opened Langenstein's. So he originally started as um, like a truck farmer, basically. He had a few plots of land around New Orleans. Yeah. Um, he would grow produce on those, uh, on those properties, and then people would just come to his house and he would sell them produce. Out of his house? Out of his house. So the, the store That was actually, even before the store opened. Okay. Yeah. So, so, you know, what gave him the idea to open a store? I guess because he was already selling out of his house. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, he had a, a kind of a good following, and, you know, people were, were coming to him for that already. So made the decision to kind of formalize that business. And with his two sons, George and Richard, um, they opened Langenstein's in 1922. And, and, and that's, you know, back then, neighborhood stores were all over New Orleans. Uh, there aren't too many, like, little neighborhood stores like that. Now. Yeah. No, we've been really lucky to, you know, just have a, a really loyal following of customers that have you know, been with us for sometimes shopping with us for 50, 60, 70 years. And uh, my, my uh, most vivid memory of Langenstein's was after Hurricane Katrina because you'd go there because it was uh, one of the only stores that was open. Yeah. And I, I don't live that far from there. And you'd walk around and people had that kind of like that zombie stare because we were all so traumatized by it. Yeah. I mean, we were the first grocery store in the New Orleans area to open after Katrina. I think only just several weeks after the storm, um, running a, probably a third of the staff that we would normally have. But, you know, the whole family was involved. My mom was working in the kitchen and my aunt on a cash register. and. You know, it was a real kind of team family effort, but we just needed to be open for the community. And, and, and uh, you know, what's it like w with the family that's had that much tradition in, in, a, in a store like this? You know, I just think the family takes a lot of pride in it. Um, you know, it means so much personally to everybody. Everybody's just really emotionally invested in the business. Um, and it's just, you know, it's something that, that we're really proud of. And the business has changed over the years. I mean, there's so many big chains now mm -hmm. um, that, that the competition is tough. Competition is tough. Um, but, you know, we think we have an offering that people are still obviously very attracted to. Um, you know, really made our name with those kind of specialty foods, our gumbos yeah. and etouffees and stuffed merleton. And, and your chicken salad. And our chicken salad as well. We talked about that. Um, and, and, and let's talk about one of, the, one of the biggest things people get wrong. So many people call it Langensteins. It's Langensteins. Uh, the clothing store is Rubenstein, so it's Rubenstein's and Langenstein. Right. Correct. Langensteins. But, you know, hey, we're, we're happy for people to call it whatever they like as, as long, long as they as keep they shopping shop with there. us. That's it. All right. Now, what do you got uh, planned special for the uh, big centennial? So this Thursday at our uptown location, uh, 1330 Arabella Street from 4 to 7, um, we'll have Delfio Marsalis and the Uptown Jazz Orchestra. Oh. Yeah, we'll have okay. um, a couple of vendors out there pouring champagne and wine. Um, we'll be serving our famous red beans and rice. We'll have a lot of other food vendors out there as well. And it's just kind of a, a block party and really a, a customer appreciation party. So you know? are you close off that block of Arabella? We are closing off the block of um, Pitt Street. Oh, Pitt yeah. Street, okay. Runs. Yeah. The, it's on the corner of Arabella and Pitt. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll close off Pitt at Nashville. 
And um, yeah, it's just going to be a celebration. And then, will, will it be in the parking lot? Yeah, gonna we're going to do it in the parking lot. Lots. Yeah, we'll have a bandstand set up kind of against the backdrop of the, you know, Langensteins that's yeah. painted on the side of the building. Um, you know, set up tents and tables all around the parking lot. Um, set and up our venue. It's free? It's free. Just okay. show up and, and come have a good time with us. All right, that sounds cool. All right, the uh, celebration uh, to Mark Langenstein's 100th anniversary is this Thursday. It starts at 4 and goes on till 7 at their uptown location on Arabella. As we said, it's free and open to the public, so that's kind of a cool deal.